Welcome to the virtual tour for the University of Arkansas for Medical Sciences College of Pharmacy. My name is Ashlyn Tedder and today I'll be showing you the locations on campus that will be important to you if you become a student pharmacist at our college. On the sixth floor you'll find the office of our Dean, Dr. Cindy Stowe, as well as faculty offices for those who are members of the Department of Pharmacy Practice. On the sixth floor you can also find the Office of Experiential Education, which handles the clinical portions of our curriculum. The UAMS Library is a great place to study either by yourself or with a group. If you're someone that likes to study with other people, you can book rooms where there are whiteboards or other materials that can help you all study together. But if you're someone that likes to study on your own, there are open quiet rooms where you can have a desk or a computer to help you study by yourself. Another service that the UAMS Library offers is the Student Success Center, where you can find peer tutors or get testing accommodation services if you need them. Even more than that, the library staff and librarians are more than happy to help you get materials from other institutions through the Interlibrary Loan Program if you were to ever need them for any of our coursework. The next stop on our tour is going to be the UAMS Lecture Halls. The College of Pharmacy predominantly uses two lecture halls, and they're mirror images of one another, so if you've seen one, you've seen both. This is one of those rooms. At each seat, you'll find a microphone so that if you ask a question during lecture, anyone in the room can hear you. The other important part about those microphones is that if you ask a question in them during class, it's saved as part of the lecture recording that's later uploaded onto the internet for your future review or to help you study. As tradition goes at the College of Pharmacy, on your first day of orientation in this room, you find your seat and you tend to stick there for the next three years. Normally, that's exactly what happens. However, there are some people in each class that go to the Northwest Campus in Fayetteville during their P3 year to finish out their pharmacy school curriculum. Those people find new seats at the Northwest Campus, but the good news is all of the members of your class virtually connect with one another every single day, so you never have to worry about missing your new pharmacy friends even though you're no longer in the same city. One of the most stressful parts about being on a new campus is not knowing where to find your classes. But the good news about UAMS is that this is your room, and you don't have to worry about finding another classroom. The lecturers come to you. One of the few instances where you will not be in this classroom is for chapter organization meetings. Those happen in IDOD Wilson, and it's the next stop on our tour. UAMS is home to 12 student organizations, three of which are pharmaceutical fraternities. All of those organizations hold their monthly chapter meetings in IDOD Wilson because the rooms are a little bit bigger to accommodate all of the classes needing to be in the same room at once. The college ensures that you're able to be involved in as many student organizations as you would like by making sure that the noon hour each day is not booked with class time. They also make sure that student organizations don't double book that hour to make sure that you never have to worry about missing one organization meeting to attend another. One of my favorite parts about being a College of Pharmacy student at UAMS is the national recognition that our student organizations get almost yearly. It's a point of pride to be able to go to national conferences and meetings and be able to say that you're a member of the University of Arkansas for Medical Sciences family. Most first and second year students leave chapter meetings to go to the ninth floor labs where the hands-on part of our curriculum takes place. In the lab, you'll learn skills about pharmaceutical preparation and formulation, and you'll also get to practice motivational interviewing skills as well as counseling points. Most students say that their favorite part of our curriculum takes place in the ninth floor labs because those are the skills that they can immediately take into practice as an intern. The last stop on our tour will be the on-campus housing options at UAMS for anyone who's interested in living right where they go to school. There are three housing options at UAMS ranging from studio apartments like this one to more traditional dorm style. If you're interested in finding out about availability or pricing of any of the units, you can contact the residency office or get in touch with the housing director. It's also really easy to look on the website to get information about the setup of any of the rooms before you even call. We hope that this short introduction to campus has given you a better idea about what your life could be like as a UAMS college or pharmacy student. If you would like more information about our admissions process, you can contact our admissions director, Dr. Angie Choi, or you can go to pharmacy.uams.edu to learn all about the program and what it has to offer. Thanks.